What is Joyce tape? Ooh, what is, is it? There, eh? Are these in order of most co- frequently asked to the least frequently asked? Is it in order? Yeah. Um. So Joyce tape is just a a flexible flashing membrane for the tops of your your joists or your beams or wherever. It's just a self-adhesive tape that's designed to keep water off of areas that are susceptible to rot. So um, tops of your joists is great to do because water can get trapped between the deck board that's sitting on it. It sandwiches between, then there's no sunlight or much airflow there, so it doesn't dry out right away. Water seeps into the fastener holes where the screws went, gets into the untreated core of the board and can rot faster. Multiple plies together, like beams and double rim joists and whatnot. Water gets between them, doesn't dry out, rots there. Um, posts that are blocked in, all these areas where water can kind of creep into. Joist tape helps you to seal up those areas so water can't get there in the first place, so it protects your deck for much longer. It's cheap. You're talking like 50 to 75 cents a square foot, probably worth of tape to do your whole deck. $17 a year. Right, yeah. <laughs> you see pay there. I'm not paying that. I will um, not pay that. So it's super cheap insurance to ensure that a wood frame is going to last as long as the super long lasting composite that you're putting on top. I think it's a no brainer. It's a very low portion of the cost of a project. Why yeah. not do it? There's multiple brands out there. Like it's and not hard to find anymore. And G tape's the best. Um, G tape is but the best that we found. That's for darn sure. It's just the nicest by to a lot. With. Like yeah. by a lot. So um one of the other things that people don't consider like with like immediately when they start to think about this added moisture into the frame is that previously, like before composites were being used so widely is that the deck board used to share some of the responsibility of the moisture that would fall onto a deck. Mm. And so some of it could evaporate off of the board and then the frame would be responsible for holding some. But now when your boards are plastic or PVC, they don't take responsibility for nothing. That's right. Those guys, they're much like a building inspector. <laughs> Deadbeat boards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, they just right. like, they don't, they don't do that. It all goes to your frame. Wow. So. So it's more important for joist tape on a composite deck than. Certainly more important for. Yes. On a wood yep. deck. Yep. Right. That's right. And not only that, because the, the composite is going to last longer. Mm-hmm. If you build an entire, like a whole wood deck, the deck boards themselves are going to be in rough shape at the same time as a frame is in rough shape, probably. They're all going to kind of rot at the same pace, but the composite decks, the composite's going to last, like I said, 30, 40, 50, 60 years, and the wood underneath will not get even close to that. Unless you put so. it in a landfill, and then it breaks down super fast in the landfill. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's cheap insurance to make sure your deck framing lasts longer. That's what joist tape is. 